Do you ever notice when you hang around people who are negative or complaining all the time that it gets you pretty down? I'm Hannah Mason, and in today's Spark, we're going to be talking about how you are a thermostat. I noticed I used to do this thing in order to try to protect myself from getting rejected by other people. When I was a kid, whenever I met someone, I would immediately find at least five things not to like about them. Maybe it was about their appearance or their personality or the things that they were interested in. And it was like I kept them in my back pocket just in case that person didn't like me. And then I was like, ha, huh, I had this defense to protect myself against the evils of their rejection. And um, what I noticed happened was just that that knowing these things, even if I never said them out loud, created a certain tone and energy coming off of me towards that person that made them not particularly interested in wanting to be my friend. So it was almost like I created the rejection that I was looking for. And when I got to college, my first year, I made a commitment that I was only going to look for positive things in people. And that's just what I did. I just looked at the positive things in everyone. And suddenly I found myself surrounded by so many people who I really liked and who, believe it or not, liked me. And I didn't realize that it was happening until a friend of mine from high school came to visit me at college. And he was like, wow, you like everybody here. And I suddenly realized, like, wow, I programmed myself to think positively about people. And it actually worked. And it was absolutely incredible. And then I became friends with this young woman somewhere around the springtime of that year. I became friends with this woman who, um, I guess, was very used to making snide and sarcastic remarks and making fun of people. And she was so funny that I fell right back into my old patterns. And I spent so much time with her and she was constantly like coloring the world around her in a negative way, but she did it in a way that was so funny that I missed what was happening. And it wasn't until that summer that I realized how much she'd isolated me or how much I'd isolated myself in response to being friends with this young woman. I'd isolated myself from every other friend that I had and it was like she was my only friend. And I didn't realize exactly how that happened. And then I went to visit her at her family's house. And there was so much fighting. And she yelled at me so much. And she was really mean to me. I, I just went into a total state of shock and just shut down. And spent the rest of the couple of days I was at her house not knowing what to do with myself. I was just totally frozen and, and couldn't cope. And she didn't even take the energy to apologize to me. So I basically ended that year losing the only friend I had because I'd somehow managed to distance myself from all of my other friends. And it made it really, really difficult to go back to college the next year. Because I'd already programmed all of this negativity into my head that now I was dreading seeing all of these people and assuming that nobody liked me and assuming nobody wanted to have a relationship with me. And for some reason, I don't know why, but I forgot that beautiful rule that I had created for myself a year before, that all I had to do was search for the beauty in other people and just look at the positive and that that would just change everything. I'd gotten into such an insecure place that I didn't know how to get myself out of it. And this is true for all of us. We're really sensitive to our environment. There's the physical environment we put ourselves in, like, are you living in a really dark place and not spending any time outside in the sunshine or in nature, getting fresh air? Or are you surrounding yourself with people who hold a certain mindset that just brings you down? So because I had this proclivity towards negativity when I, I was younger, it's something I'm really sensitive to. And I found myself over the years sometimes attracting people who have a tendency towards negative uh, talk and sarcasm. And I'm very quick to like want to push them away and steer clear of those people. And I literally have strategically chosen to spend time with people who make me feel good, who make me feel energized, who, who are focused on growth and learning and are excited about life and are taking care of their health and have lots of energy. Because being around those people inspires those parts of me. And it makes my life so much more fun and engaging and exciting to be a part of. And this is something that you can do too. 
Look at the people in your life and ask yourself, who of these people is fueling the best parts of me? Who of these people inspire me to be happier, healthier, more joyous, more enthusiastic, more social, more excited to engage with life? And who of these these people, when I'm done with the conversation with them, I feel tense or angry or frustrated or sad about the world or hopeless? And maybe strategically think about how you can surround yourself more with those positive people and less with those negative people. And of course, some of you might be saying, but hey, that negative person, it's my mom, right? So there's all sorts of tools that you can use to learn how to engage and process the people who are very close to you, who are bringing in negative energy, and how you can not take in their story and stay in your own story. And that's really all about staying in your business and focusing on what's important to you. But we have to recognize that just like everyone else, we're thermostats. We're thermostats for the environment that we're in. And the data shows that we tend to weigh as much as the average of the five people we surround ourselves most by. And we tend to be as happy as the five people we surround ourselves most by. And we make as much money as the five closest people to us. So you want to make more money? Hang around wealthier people. You want to be healthier? Hang around healthier people. You want to be happier? Hang around happier people. And it really is so much easier to move forward in your life and to go towards your goals when you're surrounded by people who are going to help get you there. And if you're finding yourself stuck, like you don't know how to manifest that stuff, you don't even know what it is you want or how to make it happen, coaching can really help. I'm here. I have time available in my schedule. You can schedule a discovery session here with me here on Facebook or via my website at hanamason.com. In the meantime, I wish you a beautiful day. Want to experience more clarity, vibrance, and joy in your life? Book a discovery session with Hana at hanamason.com slash joy.